So for today's video, we're looking at George Morrison's The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. So I took a look at Chapter 6, The uh, Building of Academic Communities. And one of the things I really uh, got from his writing is that community is extremely important. And what I mean by that is like communities of like-minded people, as Marzen said, um, can only support high-level inquiry concerning faith and learning in academia. Uh, we Last week we talked about collaboration, and so I kind of get that as a collaboration of sorts between like-minded people in order to share their thoughts, their ideas, and research, which is never a bad idea. Uh, he said that one of the most effective communities, or collaborations, um, has been the Society of Christian Philosophers, which was established in 1978. He says that one of the things that this group has been very successful at doing is reestablishing Christian perspectives in the field as being acceptable, if not welcome. Marsden goes on to discuss schools that have a Christian heritage, um, and must, which must take some concrete steps to counteract the pressure to conform to secular standards of the dominant university culture. Uh, he often talks about this idea that um, that between um, scholars, Christian scholarship, um, and secular as being the two areas um, that. Christian scholars um, have to inhabit. He says that historically the crucial issue has been faculty hiring without at least some faculty committed to integrating faith and learning. No amount of administrative rhetoric can sustain the enterprise and that many church related schools are so open in their hiring that they can have little hope of retaining any aspect of the religious heritage. He also states that for our purposes, uh, it is that for academic communities, there should no longer be the assumption that the move to embrace the more enlightened and more secular standards of the culture of the research university is a course to improvement. Our old assumptions about what progress is have changed, or they should if they have not. So while Marsden discusses the community of Christianity or the spiritual and the community of the secular, which he says those are the two communities that Christian scholars inhabit. The article on an essay, the article and essay on academic disciplines, faithfulness, and the Christian scholar by Paul Gould states that Christian scholars inhabit the two communities of the Christian and the scholar. So he talks about the, the Christian scholar being a Christian and a scholar rather than inhabiting the two communities of the Christian and the secular. Uh, and each community, he says, has its own distinctive set of beliefs, practices, and criteria for membership. He says that as a Christian, we are told we must integrate all his, that we must integrate all his or her life as, as a scholar, his or her teaching and research, with his or her Christianity. But descriptions of how to do this integration or how this integration is supposed to look is often very vague or unhelpful. Gould says that to integrate faith and scholarship, Christian scholars would be wise to pursue research that engages their academic discipline, but at the same time engages the needs of the world and Christianity. As N. Walter Storff stated in 1984, one's following of Christ ought to be actualized by taking up in divisively ultimate fashion God's call to share in the task of being witness, agent, and evidence of the coming of his kingdom. So um, I want to say thank you. I've enjoyed the class, and I will hopefully see you in another class.